Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Dianese Carbon Cover SST Short Cuff Aggressive Riding Glove at Revzilla.com. So we know the Carbon Cover ST. If you've watched that video, I rant and rave till I'm blue in the face because I absolutely love it. The new ST versions, and this is the SST, which stands for short, for 2013 are spot on from Dianese. CE rated, they refine the glove, the ergonomics are better, the pre-curve's better, and the way the knuckles laid better just rocks. These are gloves sub $140, and this glove's sub $130. It's a slight price differential. It's gonna be less expensive than that full cuff version. Remember, this is the exact same glove as the Carbon Cover ST. It's just cut down, that's why they're calling it the SST. Keep that in mind, we're seeing that from Dianese. From here, if you wanted something a bit beefier with full back of the hand protection, some other elements, step up to something like the Druids SST or the full on Druids. But again, this guy falls in really that category that can be very versatile from Dianese. Sport, aggressive, classic enough to be worn in that black version for a lot of guys that are riding Ducatis, but loud enough to be a, a big attractor to the hardcore, loud, flashy sport bike riding crowd as well. You'll see that as I flip it over. This is the black red version, eight colors available, as well as a ladies carbon cover SST. So same glove for the gal riders out there. Keep that in mind. Quick note on fitment. I'm wearing a size large, no surprises. I find that if I'm wearing a large in a European glove from Dianese, that means it's sized American. I wear an Icon large, I wear a first gear large, I wear an Alpine Star size XL for frame of reference. I consider that to be a more Euro fit. Now remember, we ship for free as well. And as I walk through this, I'd love to hear your gut reaction on the new Carbon Cover SST. Subscribe to us on Revzilla TV, our YouTube channel, and leave us your comments, your questions. We're happy to get back to you. Now looking at it, again, remember this is the black red version. You're going to have cowhide construction throughout, Kevlar stitching throughout, carbon fiber along the back of the knuckle. They've changed the way that seat it's this year, and it's going to be a little bit more ergonomic. It's the right width for the hand, depending on the size, and it's seated with some foam backing. I'm a big fan of that. The previous version of the carbon cover had a little bit more of a, it was a little wonky on top, no longer. That's why this, this glove is spot on. Micro elastication to allow for movement on the back of the hand. This is a feature we see in Dianese's high-end race suits that's made it to all other products as well now. Moving into the fingers, secondary leather level of layer and you can see it here that I'm using a color version. I'm using this red because you can see this single panel of red leather that moves throughout. Again, they're trying to eliminate seams. Hard sliders on the first two fingers, carbon fiber on your ring finger, and then moving into the pinky. I actually really like this pinky using the DCP system as well as these three TPU scales that are gonna give you better protection as well as an extra layer of leather in that low side crash, which we're all so prone to, especially depending on how you ride. Now, as I start to roll into my thumb, it's a little more simple than something like the Druid's SST. More microelastication, some basic padding, good range of movement, movement, and remember, there's a little bit less of a pre-curve here on the Carbon Cover SST than you're going to see. So really, depending on how you ride, depending on what your personal preference is, again, that's up to you. Synthetic suede along the palm, control area for extra durability. Notice on that Druids, you might get that the Dianese tickler, that rubberized panel. Again, just some of the things that you're looking at when you're weighing the difference in that $50 or $40. Now, moving into the palm though, what I do like about it, look at the way this red ties together with the DCP and the leather that goes up the pinky. Lots of coverage, not a lot of seams, single pieces of leather that are big and come all the way over. Encapsulating seams, keeping the glove from potentially bursting. Now, looking at the heel of the hand, you're also going to notice that we have this big slider that wraps around both at the heel of the hand as well as on the lateral side. I like the shape of this, very ergonomic. That's a refinement and it ties in nicely with the EVA foam panel here that's gonna give you a little bit of a raise for some scapegoat protection. Basic cuff at the bottom as well for the carbon cover SST. Love the fact that it comes in eight colors. I can't find any more colors except for purple, which Dianese, I don't know who's riding a purple bike out there, but you can't get purple gloves that match. So now that I've given you the run through on the Carbon Cover SST, the short version of one of my favorite gloves in the new Dianese line, the next step is to not take my word for it. Click here, read rider reviews on this specific glove at Rebzilla.com. Get the ins and outs, the goods and the bads, and see if everyone else's experience lives up to mine. So click right here and do that. Remember, we're gonna ship for free, and as well, if you wanna walk through any of the features or the nuances, talk to our gear geeks, tons of Dianese experts on staff at Revzilla.com. See us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the new Dianese Carbon Cover SST Short Cuff Gnarly Glove at Revzilla.com slash Dianese. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.